Okay, thank you for buying our MXQ box. Um, first thing you want to do is take your box and hook it up to the TV by either using the included uh, HDMI cord or you can uh, use your own HDMI cord if you have one. And of course you use the power cable too and you navigate with your remote control. Also make sure your TV is on the right input. Okay. Okay, after your MXQ box is plugged in, you're going to turn it on and this is the first screen that you'll see. We're just going to let it start up. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, make sure that media box launcher is highlighted in blue and it should be automatically by default and uh, what you want to do is go down here to the left and press always. Okay, uh, this is the first screen that you'll see um, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is go over here to settings then go over here to network and uh, connect your internet. Um, in this case we're going to be doing Wi-Fi. If you're doing Ethernet you can do Ethernet. So you have to click on Wi-Fi to turn it on and then uh, click your Wi-Fi network and then where it says password you want to click and type in your password. After you type it in press done and then go down to connect now. Okay it says Wi-Fi connected and uh, how you can test if you really are connected is just go down here to the globe and this is going to take you on the internet browser and you should see Google pop up. If it doesn't pop up then something's wrong and even though you're connected you're not connected. Uh, if that's the case um, I would click on the video that's under this video that says how to reset your MXQ and I would uh, reset your box to start over. Okay so after you're connected um, what you want to do is go down here to where it says the K, that's for Cody. Cody's the same as XBMC, they just changed the name XBMC to Cody. So just click on the K right here, and uh, that's how you start it up, or XBMC. Now, uh, your box comes already programmed, so you guys don't even have to do anything. Um, and uh, you're going to see this screen, just press uh, dismiss, it's just a little announcement. So when you first come in here, uh, you're going to see add-ons on the bottom right hand corner updating and it may take a second to get started but like just uh, you'll see that happen, that's normal, don't worry about that. But the first step you want to do is go over here to programs. This is a must needed step, it's going to help your uh, streaming of movies and shows go along a lot smoother. Uh, you want to click on program add-ons and then you want to click on maintenance tool, okay? see all the add-ons updating on the bottom okay and then you're gonna go over here to system tweaks to the right and after you click system tweaks you want to go down here to where it says enable zero catch settings this is gonna help your movies and shows load a lot better so just click that oh there we go it's it and it's gonna ask you did you back up the original just press yes and uh, say done adding new advanced XML okay that's all we did so that's a must needed step and I'll show you why later um, now I went back now the first thing that you guys need to know see on the bottom right here these are just shortcuts to add-ons just like you bookmark stuff on your computer so that's all those are and to get to the main list add-ons just go under videos and click on add-ons and see here's a thumbnail view of all add-ons I usually like a different view so if you go to the top left hand corner right here and click left on your remote this menu will pop up and click where it says thumbnail and see you'll start changing the views I actually like just the regular info view. I'll show you why. And to get rid of this menu, I just clicked right on the remote. Okay. And uh, see this. This is a lot better because it just gives a you know just a list format, and then on the right hand side it gives a picture and a description of what the add-on is. You can see it's a lot less cluttered. And I can see what's going on over here because there's so many add-ons in here. Okay. Now, uh, the, even though there's all these add-ons, I'm not going to sit here and show you all the add-ons, but I'm going to show you a basic idea of how stuff works. The main add-on that you guys are going to be using is the one channel add-on. To use one channel, just click on it. This one channel allows you to watch just about every movie and TV show you can think of. Uh, most people just use one channel. All, there's a whole bunch of other add-ons too, but one channel is really the only one that you need. And uh, this is the first screen you'll see. Just press back. Okay, and it gets rid of that. And here's the screen for one channel. I also don't like this view right here. I'm going to change that to list view too. Okay, so you have movies, TV shows. Uh, if we're 
if you're looking for a movie, you go to the movie section. If you're looking for a TV show, go to the TV show section. So let's click on a movie, for example. The movie section has all these different options. Most people just use these two right here, either featured or search. Featured will give you the, the latest movies that are out. Search will allow you to search for any movie that you can think of. So as you can see in here, it just loaded all the newest movies. And it, it goes from newest to oldest. So there's all kind of stuff. See, it even has Insidious in there already. All kind of stuff. If you go all the way down on the list, it'll just go the newest to oldest. If you go next page, it'll just get older and older and older. Like I said, this list ups, the updates just about every day, so you always have new stuff to watch. So, for example, let's click on Insidious, Chapter 3. And uh, what happens when you click on a movie, it basically goes on the net and finds as many links as it can for that movie. Um, see all these different links? Now, there's so many because sometimes a link might not work or sometimes a link might be slow. So, it uh, just finds, as, you know, just gathers as many as it can. Now, one thing, if you look on, if you look on, the, one thing, if you look on the left-hand side, you'll notice that it says DVD. That's just telling you the quality of the movie. There's three different qualities of video quality. There's DVD, there's cam, and there's TS. DVD is going to be the clearest. So I usually like to watch stuff in DVD quality if it's available. Now, uh, in terms of links, you see on the right-hand side, see it has the, the different name, or each link has kind of a different name. Um, you may notice that on your internet connection, some links work better for you than others. So I would pay attention when you click links, just the names of them. I usually use B streams and Move Share for you. It might be different ones that work better, but uh, let's click B, B streams for example. Okay, see, and that easily started up. Now, what's great about it is if I hold down the OK button, it brings up this menu where I can pause the movie, stop the movie, fast forward the movie, all kind of stuff. So let's pause it. See that? I pause it. Let's play it again. And also, I can uh, click here and fast forward the movie. And the more times I click fast forward, the faster it's going to fast forward for me. If you look, there's like four different fast forward speeds. Okay. See at the top right hand corner says 8x. That's how fast it's fast forwarding. So I'm just going to click on, oh, sorry, accidentally, accidentally press stop. But that's how you stop it too. Now, the other great thing, watch this, because I fast forwarded about one minute into the movie. You guys ever stop a movie? Or, you know, you have to go somewhere. When you click on the movie again, it'll resume from where you were. See that? All I have to do is press resume and click a link again. And instead of having to go back to where I was in the movie or fast forward it, it'll just start where I was. And I was already one minute into the movie. See that? That's a cool little trick. Okay? So, uh, another cool trick, if you press the mouse cursor, the mouse cursor on the remote doesn't always work correctly, but if you press it, the mouse cursor looks like, you press the mouse button on the remote, looks like a little mouse, and then, uh, you can actually skip anywhere in the movie. See that? See that easy? I could skip way to the end of the movie if I want to. Okay, so that's that. Uh, another cool feature, you can actually create your own digital movie collection by adding like movies to your favorites. And to do that, if you click on the button, it looks like a piece of paper on your remote. It's like right underneath the left arrow and the down arrow on your remote. If you click that while you're on top of movie, it'll bring up this menu. And what you can do is go here and press add to favorites. See that? Now when I did that, let's go back. Remember this part where it said featured and search? There's also a favorite section. If you look on the bottom right corner, it says Insidious added to favorites. And if you go in here in my favorite section, Insidious is in there now. So you can add as many movies as you want to your favorites and watch them later or whatever. And see, you can also click on it again and press remove from favorites if you want. So that's a cool feature. That's also great for TV shows, of course, because you might want to, or you, of course, when you have a TV show, you want to go back back to it over and over again to watch the different episodes so you don't always have to search for it. Another cool feature, if you uh, click on it, if you press watch trailer, you can also watch a movie trailer of any movie. So let's try that. And the first time you press watch a trailer, it's going to ask you to uh, set up, you execute the setup wizard. Just press yes. And um, just press list and list again. And uh, language and reason. It's going to ask you if you want to adjust the language, you just press no. And um, that'll be the only time you have to do that. And see that? That easily it gives you a preview of the movie. So that's pretty nifty. You can watch a movie trailer of any movie that's in there. See that? I wish you guys you could answer me, Mom. So that's pretty cool. You can uh, watch trailers of the movies. Um, another tip. Let's go back. And this is a very important tip. 
Uh, remember when we had you guys do that step way in the beginning where you had to go to programs, you did enable catch, zero catch settings? Well, the reason for that is this. Let me show you. Let's click on a movie, like the gunman, for example. Sometimes you guys will get movies that uh, load very slowly. Like I know when I clicked Insidious, it played right away. But uh, I wish I had an example here. Let's just click a random link. Sometimes when you um, click a link, it'll start trying to buffer or load. I'm sure you guys have used YouTube before where you know a, a movie's trying to load. Now, how we set this box up to get rid of that problem, and like like I said, it could be because you have a slow internet connection, or it could be because the link is slow, or, okay, well, there we go. See that? It's in the top right-hand corner. It says buffering 62%. We set this box up where it knows exactly how much it needs to buffer. So, in that case, it only took, I'm going to pause it myself now, but you saw it paused the movie, and it was buffering, and it went from zero to like 100%. That's what I was trying to show you guys. And what I'm trying to tell you is that this box knows how long it needs to buffer so the movie never has to buffer again. What I mean by that is this. If you guys ever watched a YouTube video, you may have, have noticed like, you know, a video tries to load on the internet and then it plays and it buffers again and it plays and it buffers again. I'm sure all you guys have been through that before. Well, that's because it never, like when it buffered the first time, it didn't load enough of the movie or video you were looking at so it never had to buffer again. That's what this box does. We set it up where when it buffers it knows it calculates how slow your internet connection is so it, it it may buffer for like three minutes okay if it needs to so you like you saw it on there it went from zero to 100 percent in like maybe 15 seconds that's because it didn't it didn't need to load that much the link isn't that slow sometimes it won't have to buffer at all but sometimes it'll get stuck on zero percent and it'll be like zero percent two percent and like you may have to load that movie for three minutes but what you need to do is just let it load because if you don't let it buffer and you just press play what's going to happen is, is that the movie's going to keep pausing and starting pausing and starting pausing and starting you have to let the movie load okay if it's trying to buffer let it load another cool feature is that see how i paused it myself if you pause it manually you can just sit there and let it load the whole movie like so like if it's real slow just pause the whole movie you can leave or go go do some chores or something, and you'll you'll see the whole movie loading eventually, okay? And then when you play, it'll just be done and loaded. So uh, also check out also what you need to watch out for is if in the beginning when you first load the movie, if it's taking a long time to load, and it says zero percent and ten minutes pass and it still says zero percent, I would try a different link because you know some that that link might just be slow or a lot of people might be clicking that link. So then you try another link. So that's just that's just some tips for that. Um, hopefully you guys understood what I'm talking about. I know it's a little complicated, but once you get it, uh, it's uh, real easy. And please email us if you don't understand. Now, uh, if you go here to TV shows, let me show you this. TV shows works the same way as uh, the movie section, but it's just for TV shows. And like this time, let's look at the search section. I didn't show you the search option in the movie section, but it works the same as it does in the TV show section. So say, for example, I'm searching for a show like... The Walking Dead. Just after you type it in, press done, and it'll start searching for it. And uh, there's also a featured section in the TV show section. However, it may not be the TV shows that you want to watch, or you know. So I usually just search for my TV shows and see when you put Walking Dead in it finds all the Walking Dead stuff it can find okay so look right here it says the Walking Dead 2010 that's the one I'm looking for and uh, before I go on I'm just gonna click my menu option and add it to favorites because you know if you have a show you're gonna keep coming back okay and I'm gonna click on the show see it says Walking Dead added to favorites and give it a second to load and see what you're gonna see is See, it's going to have every season and episode of that show. So let's just click season five. That's amazing. It's like having the DVD box set. So you guys are in the game. This is a great box. Okay, after that happens, you want to go over here to uh, just any link and see it has every season episode. So I'm just going to click on a random episode. Okay. Okay. And then you want to click on a random link, which I'm doing. Okay, you see that? And the show loads right up. Okay, so it's that easy, folks. I mean, like I said, that's just one add-on, one channel. Uh, 
another add-on that I like using is um, and the next thing I want to show you guys uh, is how to watch live sports to watch live sports you just want to go to Digitel sports right here and then you want to go to uh, live sports and uh, you go over here to any of these I usually go to live tv.ru and if you're watching something it's good to know what time your game comes on like if you're watching a basketball game or a boxing match don't come in here and try to look at the times. We'll go to now playing. Don't try to figure out the times from what it says in here. Just know what you're like. Maybe go to the websites of the games or the of the sport and figure out when it's coming on. Just click on here and click it because of these times are a lot of times off. So I wouldn't even uh, try to uh, go by these times in here. I'll just make sure I know the games on already. And uh, that easy sports level works. We know the abilities of what we can do with his years within, years within the MLS. And that's, and that's a bit of a mismatch. Anytime that CJ. Let me show you. It's one called Beetle. You guys could check all these out. There's all kind of stuff music videos, live stations. Just check it out. One channel. You guys will probably be stuck with one channel for a long time because it's a great thing. But uh, let's try out Beetle. I sometimes go to Beetle because it has some channels in it. I usually click on categories. Then I click. Uh, let me see. And I click on all. Okay. And see here, these are just channels made by people like me and you that have movies on them, all kind of stuff. So, like, let's just click on one of these random channels. Now, these are on 24 7, so they're on whether you're watching them or not. You just come in if you want to watch something random. It works great. See that? Okay. And one thing, when you're watching these live channels like these or anything else, it fills up the memory fast so even just watching stuff in one channel fills up the memory fast so usually I come over here and uh, go to programs and program add-ons and I come in the maintenance tool and you guys want to do this probably every couple days go to maintenance tool and then I go to uh, general maintenance then I press clear catch that just erases the memory so in because if you don't do this, it says done clearing catch, I did it. If you don't do this every couple of days, your box will start running slower. So that's a very important to do as much as possible. And uh, step two, you click right here to exit. Just click the circle in the bottom left corner and press exit. And if for some reason uh, your XPMC doesn't close when you do that, just press the picture of a house on your remote to get out of it. See that? And uh, just go over here to settings. And go over here to other and more settings. Then go to apps. Then go to uh, Cody and press for stop. 